Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jersey Frost. We're playing Final Fantasy IX. This is episode 24. Um, we're looking for more. <laughs> uh, last episode, we went back to Dolly a couple of times to get some wrists. We made some cotton robes. We sold cotton robes. Uh, I tried playing in a card tournament. I lost a couple times, and I won a couple times. Now, we're on the last round, um, and so I saved in case I lose, because I'm going to restart if I do lose. Um, but first, we're going to watch this little scene. This way, Regent. Yes, I know, but remember my condition. Please, Regent, you must behave like a champion. Let's register. It's the champion. Yeah, here she comes. I'm the champion, Eren. I'd like to enter the tournament, please. I'll be been waiting for you. Please go inside. Thanks. Hey. You, Dad, it's an oglop. Shoo, shoo. Go away, you filthy oglop. Um, I'm sorry, but this oglop is my... It's the champion's pet. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Since when am I your pet? What? Well, you are an oglop, after all. Silence. Walk. I'm the champion. Walk, walk. No one understands. I heard the champion is a master of winning games with Oglop cards. Her name is Eren, the Oglop Master. Sailor Eren, final round. Um, so we're actually going against Regent Sid. Um, so we're going to use these beautiful, beautiful cards we have and hope that I don't lose. Um, I might even go Tonberry this time for the numbers. Um, I kind of have to. And then we'll do this. Okay. Um, that's not bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop this guy here. Okay. Um, well then. Alright. Bring it on. There we go. I'll take it. Awesome. Um,. Honestly, I think I'm gonna do this. Okay, cool. Um, am I getting baited here? There's no way. Okay, cool. Um, no way. Nice. All right. I almost got a perfect game there. I can't believe it. That's kind of a bummer. Um, so I'm gonna take this. I'll take this too, uh, 2p10, because that's two arrows. We get a rebirth ring, which teaches auto life. That is why I was hoping that we would win this game. So, the champion was an airship pilot from Lindblom. I'm Aaron, the airship pilot. Nice to meet you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm the champion. Hey, Regent Sid. Still an oglop, I see. And you still haven't learned any manners. Cut me some slack, will ya? What are you doing here, anyway? Mainly participating in the tournament, but there was something I wanted to test. What are you testing? Our new airship! You're the guard, too! The one that can fly without mist? Correct! We can't go very fast yet, but we made it to Trino! Why now? I have a funny feeling there'll be more trouble on the horizon. Don't you worry. I'm sure our almighty Queen Garnet will take care of everything. Oh no! This is horrible! What's up, Aiko? Oh, it's horrible! A moogle from Trino just told me! What's wrong? Walk. It's Alexandria! Something horrible has happened! Something horrible, you say? Peace is but a shadow of death. Desperate to forget its painful past. Though we hope for a promising years, after shedding a thousand tears, yesterday's sorrow constantly nears. And while the moon still shines blue, by dawn it will turn to scarlet hue. What an auspicious day for Alexandria! 
Garnet's ascension to the throne has brought hope and peace to this kingdom. The people are overjoyed. They believe a wonderful future is ahead of them. But the celebration isn't over yet. It's time to really light things up. Your former master is here, Bahamut. Play a requiem for her and all of Alexandria. Uh-oh. Look at those fireballs. Look at this dragon. Oh no, just shooting fire at everything. Well, that's not good news at all, is it? Hurry, this way! I don't want to die! Well, no, probably not. I don't think anyone here wants to die. <laughs> Your Highness! That's Bahamut, isn't it? Beatrix, please gather all soldiers. Yes, Your Highness. Our soldiers have already assembled and await your orders. Hurry up, you fools! This is an emergency. Get your rack together before the princess arrives. Line up! Your Highness, as you can see, we are ready to act at any time. Please give your orders. Your orders? To gather information, we are going to have, I believe it's Blutzen and Cole. Um, we're going to have Weimer and Hagen protect the townspeople. Uh, we're going to have Bryrecht and Laudo contact Lindblum, Lindblum for reinforcements. And Mullen, Kedheim, and Dojabon will be the uh, cannoneers. Based on the information you kind of learned from the start of the game, uh, you can kind of figure that part out. Uh, Laudo is clearly the writer of the group. Uh, Bryrecht is really good with keeping track of everybody. Um, Mullenkedheim and Dojabon both have some sort of experience with weapons and or cannons. Uh, Weimer and Hagen are very much uh, the... What do you want to call it? The gossips. The gossips of the team. Um, and then Blutzen and Cole are really good at learning about things, or are really good about disseminating, disseminating the information to the townsfolk. I'm pretty sure. Beatrix, let's go. Everyone's gone. I don't know what to do. Mother, I need your help. This is it, Beatrix. I will give my life for Alexandria. Well said. Let us march on to victory. Yes, we will, after we unequip Beatrix. Um, so we're going to take off her cross helm. We're going to give her uh, the bronze helm. We're going to give her some bronze gloves. We're going to give her some linen cuirass. Actually, we're going to give her the bronze armor. Uh, and we're gonna take this off completely um, because we want to be able to have as many good things as possible. Uh, we're gonna check Steiner's equipment real quick as well. Take off the barbet for the gold helm, so we can take off the ice brand for the coral sword. Um, we're gonna take off the mithril armor for the plate mail, and I think we're good to go. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and check our our uh, abilities really quick. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and equip. Devil Killer. Take off Man Eater for add status. I think he might have a status effect on his weapon. Nope, never mind. We're going to take that off and give him. Um, nothing else, I guess. I mean, I guess I could take off Beast Killer. Um, we'll give him Insomniac because these enemies will put you to sleep and we don't want that. So, this is going to be one of your only chances to level up Steiner for a little while. Um, 
Like your, it's definitely like your first chance in a minute. And he's level 19. Everyone else on the team is like level 20 something. Same thing with Dagger. She's gonna be like 17 or 18 when she joins us. Uh, it's gonna really suck. But that's why we have level up on both of them, so that they can try and catch up a little bit. Um, you always have the option to kill Beatrix here and give Steiner even more experience and AP. It's just, you don't really have to. Um, they're both really strong at this point. Like, look at that. Steiner just doubled Beatrix's damage. Beatrix was destroying us earlier, and Steiner's here just... Nothing. No problems whatsoever. It really isn't fair. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use the potions on Beatrix and Steiner just to kind of give them a little bit of a top off. Um, there's only one way to really go. You can't go this way. You can't go inside any of these buildings. Um, they're all closed off. So, we have to advance. So we're gonna go down to where the item shop was. We see all these people running by, trying to escape. Beware, Beatrix. The enemy is close. Yeah, you're right about that, Steiner. Here is another Mystodon. Uh, it might even be two. Can't remember. Alright, Steiner's probably gonna kill this thing in one hit. Boom. Wow. Uh, usually, honestly, usually when I get to this point in the game, I have Steiner with the Bloodsword equipped, so this is kind of different for me in terms of where he's at. I don't really know what happened there. Um, that's actually pretty cool. Um, huh. <sighs> that sucks. I was kind of hoping I could give him ability up at some point, but I don't think I can. You wish to fight us, you despicable beast! For the princess! For her highness! At one point, we were sworn enemies of Beatrix, and now... She's about to get a double kill. Um, so we're gonna use Klim Hazard. She has two attacks that can deal damage to all enemies. Um, she's also our healer right now, but I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna use some of her MP to really just get a quick kill here, hopefully. It should work out that way. Um, at least it did against the Jabberwocks. Or the Bandersnatches. I keep forgetting that they're not the, ja the Jabberwockies. They are the frumiest bandersnatches. <laughs> um, if you don't understand that reference, uh, there is a poem by Lewis Carroll um, called The Jabberwock. Then from Through the Looking Glass, I think it is. Um, I learned it in high school. My sophomore year, my language arts teacher was like, hey, we're going to learn poetry this year. We're going to learn, we're going to memorize the Jabberwocky along with a couple other poems that he really liked. <laughs> so I still know the poem. It's really fun to recite, um, but I'm not gonna... It's not worth it right now. Um, maybe another time. Wow, you already almost caught up. Alright, maybe I'll just unequip level up then. Eh. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I don't want him to get too far ahead of everyone either. So we'll take... We'll give him bright eyes and clear headed again. Uh, finally. Rather. And he's got that HP plus 10%, so he'd normally be at it about probably 120 or 1200 HP right now. So, hey, there you go. A little bit of extra bonus here. Prepare to die! Who's preparing, Steiner? Is it you and Beatrix, or is it this creature? It's the creature. Here we have one missed on again, and then we're going to have a forced fight after this. Um, I think it's actually going to be two fights back to back uh, against two Mystodons each. Beatrix, are you all right? I'm fine. What about you? 
You're wounded. It's just a scratch. Persistent bastards. Okay, maybe it's 1-1-2. One, one, I don't remember. It's 1-1-2. One, one, so it's 1-1-2-1-1-2. One, one, two, one, one, two. There you go, Steiner just gets another kill, dealing even more damage because he leveled up previously. Jeez. Now we learn that then we learn add status. So I would be able to take off his add-on normally, but they don't want to let me go into my menu. This is futile. Let us return to the castle. No, I cannot face the princess until we destroy all these beasts. On my honor, I vow to protect the princess, the citizens of Alexandria, and Beatrix, I, I shall protect you. Steiner. Watch out! What a ship. You love to see it. Is this the one? No, not yet. Um, so the next battle that we face, uh, Steiner is going to go into trance. Um, because of the... I remember how in disc 1 when we first learned about trance, they mentioned that part of it can be generated by, generated by an extraordinarily emotional response. Um, that is what is going to happen here. This might be it for us. I have no regrets. Beatrix, there is something I must tell you. What is it? I... Save your valediction, Steiner. We'll live to see another day. She knows. This is a very Han and Leia moment. Um, a very... I want to say the words, but I can't. So Steiner's going to trance here, and he's going to just do some work. We're going to have Beatrix do a shock on one of them to try and kill it in one hit, and Steiner's going to do the rest. And there's... 1700 damage. She's not even doing as much as his regular attacks. That is... mind-boggling. Then, because he's in trance, 5,600 damage. Two and a half times. My word. Pretty good. Hmm? I... I hear music. Where is it coming from? Is it coming from upstairs? It might be. This might be, Dagger. Alright, so we're finally going to give her some different equipment. She can finally learn Cura. I'm going to give her the healing rod. We'll go down. We'll keep her with the tiara, actually, because it's going to be better for her. Um, I'm going to give her the best so she can learn locomotion. And then we're going to give her an amethyst and start working on her uh, idolins. Uh, because she's getting ready to rejoin the party. Um... We're going to go up, over this way, and down. Uh, you can try going in to see the Moogles, uh, but if you try going anywhere that you're not supposed to, this weird light pops up and stops you from going that direction. So we're going to go up this way. And we're going to go to the left here. Um, I'm not sure you can go to the right in this place. Uh, so we're going to go left where we couldn't go before when we were going through here with Zidane and company trying to rescue Dagger, um, because we were getting chased down and we had a very, very strict time limit. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go up these stairs, we're gonna go through here. Look at this platform raising up without us knowing it. It almost seems like the castle is trying to do something. Maybe this castle is a living thing somehow. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> so we're gonna go up these stairs. And we're going to get a cutscene after we go up to this platform. Look at that weird little eye thing. Where? What is this place? I can still hear the music. Where is it coming from? What am I doing here? 
mother? Is it Dane? No, I can't depend on them any more. As the Queen of Alexandria, I must protect my kingdom. Well, you don't have to do it all by yourself. The ship is rocking pretty badly. It can't be helped. I designed this ship as an oglog, after all, so I have no Gwar. Or idea what could happen. It sounds like it. It sounds like it might crash at any minute. Perhaps. But I think we can at least make it to Alexandria. <laughs> oh man, I guess we'd better cross our fingers. Zidane, I I'm starting to feel sick. It's probably from the flight. Go inside and get some rest. Try to stay in the middle of the ship. You'll feel less movement. Go on, Vivi. Okay, thanks. Look at Aiko. Aiko? What? I saw something sparkle. Huh? Oof. Dagger? Dagger? Aiko, what's going on? I thought I just heard Dagger's voice. What? Jeez, there's something wrong with this ship. This light. Maybe it's the Holy Judgment. The Holy Judgment? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? The summoner is being called. Alexander's judgment has come. And then she just jumps off the ship. <laughs> um, Aiko has a lot of faith in uh, the magic of the Eidolons being willing to keep her and Dagger both safe. And she is right to do so. <laughs> the power of love and friendship and magic. Aiko, how? Why are you here? I heard your voice on the airship. No wonder. I felt your presence too, and all of a sudden, I was covered in light. It's happening again. Dagger, this is the light of destiny. The light of destiny? A summoner's light of destiny, brought on by the hidden power of the four jewels. This light appears when a holy idolon calls for its summoner. Come on, Dagger. As summoners, we have to fulfill our destiny. But I don't know what to do. It's okay. I'll show you. First, we have to put our hands together. Like this. Uh-huh. Now pray in your heart. Oh, holy guardian, hear our prayers. Darkness overshadows us once again. O oh, Holy Guardian, hear our prayers. Deliver us out of darkness and into light. It seems like it might have worked. Look at that. those wings. Look at that. Look at that Eidolon right there. That is a massive thing. We have seen Alexander now. What a... What an incredible creature. Um... What an incredible thing hiding inside the castle. Bahamut. Bahamut who? It's so beautiful. Alexander, the legendary Eidolon. 
So, you wish to defend the castle with your beautiful wings? How admirable! Your powers even transcend Bahamut's. Alexander, I've been waiting for you. I've called a magic carriage for you. I'm sure you'll like it. Invincible, come forth. You're mine, Alexander. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's our mysterious eye in the sky. Aw, look at Alexander trying to keep it safe. You have gone too far, Kuja. I granted you the freedom to do as you wish in Gaia for one purpose alone. Now that you have lost sight of your mission, I will no longer tolerate your actions. You have not the slightest idea whom you are defying. I will show you soon enough. You too, Zidane. What the heck? Who the heck is this guy? And what in the world is he doing? Hmm? What happened to the Invincible? Enslave Alexander, as you have enslaved Bahamut. <gasps> Could it be Garland? Impossible. Why would he come to Gaia? If it is indeed Garland, he must know my plan. But why has he assumed control of the Invincible? No, he can't be. What is he going to do, Kuja? Tell us. Phew, that was quite a trip. You little bug, we could have been killed. Aberrant's right. It was a mistake to come here on that airship. Well, we had to get here somehow. Come on, guys. We made it all. We all made it here in one piece. That's all that matters. What? What? That's right. I'm never gonna ride on an airship again. Never, ever. Sorry, BB. Captain. Where is her highness? I don't know. We're looking for her, too. Shoot! I must find the captain! Looks like there's just nobody who knows where anything is. Alright, let's go find Dagger. We have to find Aiko, too. They're probably together. You're probably right about that, Zidane. Alright, so we're gonna check everyone's equipment again really quick. Uh, there aren't really any fights here, but I just wanna, you know, better safe than sorry thing. Alright. So we're going to go over here, onto the left side. We're going to talk to all these guys. And we're going to tell them to clear out. Uh, because otherwise they're just going to stay in the library. Um, so you just go talk to them. Wait for them to walk out. They move really slow. Come on, friend. Come on, friend. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm going to go to the right. Let's go over to the right side of the other library. Talk to the scholars over here. Well, she tried to, but you guys are dragging your feet. Head out. We go out the front door. Dagger's probably inside the castle. You're probably right about that, Sedane. Uh, I'm gonna go out to the right, out here. If we try going this way, we should be able to save. Um, I'm gonna talk to Mosh, see if he's got a letter. He does not. I'm shocked. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go up and around and we're gonna go up and we're gonna try and go to the right we're gonna find out that we can't go this way oh we can go this way oh right i didn't realize we could go in here huh the more you know no items or anything but you can go in here i didn't honestly realize that was her 
That was how you got into her room. Huh. The more you know. I'm gonna go up these stairs. We're gonna go track down Dagger. Um, Sedane's gonna run out ahead of everybody. They're all gonna look up. Gee, what is this? What? So this is the secret of Alexandria Castle. Are Dagger and Iko up there? Maybe. Let's go see. Hold on. Wah. What are you doing? There's no point in all of us going. I'll take it from here. Why? I want to go with you. I want to help Dagger and Iko too. Kuja might destroy this castle at any minute. Get out of here while you can. Go on, Vivi. Don't worry about me. Someday, you'll probably do the same thing for someone who's really important to you. Dagger is more important to me than anything else. Man, you make me sick. I'm out of here. Next time you want to play hero, don't even bother calling me. Later. <laughs> I guess there's no way to stop you. But remember, this is not just your war. So don't even think about fighting Kuja now. As soon as you find Dagger, leave. All right. Come on, Vivi. Let's go. Freya, wait. Let him go, Vivi. He'll be all right. I think Vivi wants to go because he cares about Aiko. But that's just me personally. I'm sorry I can't take you with me. But I have to go with my instincts on this one. I don't know what else to say. Okay, Zidane. Good luck. Alright, so we're gonna go up the stairs. Up the stairs. Whoa! What the heck was that? Oh, jeez! And here we get another cutscene. Uh, the Invincible is going to use its weird rays of light to take control of Alexander and destroy it. Look at them, swinging on another one of those little flags on strings. What a parallel to the start of the game. I didn't even realize that. Wow. The more you notice. Dagger, I'm sorry. I don't know why I wasn't honest with you. Sedane, we really made a big mess, didn't we? No, you didn't make a big mess. That was all uh, Kuja and Darlin. Come on. We'll talk later. Let's get out of here. Honestly, if not for you two getting Alexander there, this place would have been probably destroyed. Like, destroyed, destroyed by Bahamut. Granted, uh, the castle is still getting wiped out, and like the really close by surrounding area as well. And it's still going to be there. It's not totally destroyed. More souls have returned. In microscopic proportions, the process still continues after thousands of years. Eventually, these circulating souls will no longer belong to Gaia. They must never be circled back. Kuja did well, if only he had lasted longer. I never imagined he would choose to end his remaining days on Gaia. Perhaps this was his fate, set in ages past. I too cannot escape my fate. Someday, I must face your counterpart. 
Wonder who that is. Here we are back in Limblum. As you can see, the reconstruction is moving right along. Good! We've started building airship number three. It's going well, too. Walk. Many engineers from the industrial district have volunteered. Oh, people are so strong. I never realized until now. They have faith in you, Regent. That is why they can be strong. They are proud to be citizens of Limblum. Ah, that you, Baku? Hey, Regent, what's going on? I'm tired from working day and night on a new airship. Hey, why don't you come by the research center and give us a hand sometimes? Hmm, you talking to both of us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. We already have enough people what? to work on it. Oh, do you know how Zidane's doing? He's fine. In fact, he's probably awake by now. Blank, go to the castle and see how he's doing. Oh, and tell him to come to my room. Why not? Hmm? He's awake. Dagger. Iko. How did I get here? That's confusing. We get an egoist armlet. That'll teach Zidane something new, I'm pretty sure. Once we get done with learning Mug. And once we get done learning Mug, you can just switch over to that and then take off the fairy earrings. <laughs> Which is exciting. Um, so we're gonna go up the stairs. Look who is back! It's Mug Key. I'm glad Lindblom got rebuilt. I don't like fossil world. Can I ask you a favor, Cooper? I want you to deliver a letter to Mudon. Thanks, Cooper. All right, I'm going to try seeing if I can't get a letter. No, I can't. I can't get the letter to Atla. That sucks. Um, we're not getting a 100% delivery rate this game. Um, but I am going to save. All right, so we're going to head down. We're going to try to leave, and then Blank is going to stop us. Zidane! Hmm? So, how you feeling? Okay, I guess. By the way, where's Dagger? Do you know where Dagger is? No, I haven't seen her. Maybe she's upstairs by the telescope. Oh, yeah! Jeez. Man, isn't there anything on his mind besides girls? Um, no, probably not. Something washed ashore. I wonder what. <laughs> Gotta love the, the Quinna theme, too. Man, this doesn't look good. Yeah, whatever it is, I think it's dead. Hey, you're supposed to be on duty. Hmm, captain uh, I'm sorry, sir, but we found this weird thing by the shore. Step aside. I used to be a sea dog, so I know a thing or two about these things. Hmm. It's dead. Go find a doctor, right away. Ah! I'll be damned. They got their butts moving in a hurry. It's about time I started getting some respect around here. Hmm. Ah! Huh? Where is this? Oh, I'm so hungry. You and me both, Quinna. I get that feeling. Yeah, I bet it's the guest room. So we're going to go up here. We're going to see if Blank is still up here because we can talk to him. He's going to tell us that we need to go see Sid as well. Go see Sid. He's in the royal chamber. So after we find Dagger, we're going to go try and find Sid. Um, she's probably up by the telescope, as he said. Um, we can't actually find Quinna yet. Uh, we can't find Quinna until we're about to leave this place. It's pretty funny. Um, so we're going to go up to the upper level so that we can try and find Dagger. And maybe we can't. Maybe we just have to go talk to Sid instead. Um, we're going to go up and to the left. We're going to go up to the telescope. Come on. We know how to get up here by now. Ba oh, weird. There's no music this time. Well, look who's here. Man, we went through some crazy stuff, huh? I honestly didn't think I was going to make it this time. But as you can see, 
I'm all right now. Dagger, is something wrong? Oh, okay. You're so happy to see me, you don't know what to say. I didn't know you loved me so much. Did I do something wrong? All right, what did I do wrong? Maybe she's just tired. A lot has happened since Bronn's death. I'd better cheer her up. Hey, let's go check out the town. I'll, it'll be fun. Come on. I think she's starting to get annoyed. Maybe I should leave her alone. I guess you have a lot on your mind right now. Sorry to bother you. I'll see you later. Sakaria, you're so sweet. Thank you. Now that was strange. She didn't seem to say a single word to us. Um, that doesn't seem good. Uh, usually she would have at least said something, right? Alright, we're gonna go up here. We were told to talk to the regent, so we're gonna go... I think we're gonna go up here. We're not permitted to enter the chamber. Are we supposed to go to the conference room first? That's annoying. Sedane! <laughs> Did you all miss me? How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. Zidane, Regent Sid wishes to speak with you. Go to the royal chamber. Oh, okay. See you all later. Alright, so now we're gonna have to go up this way. Talk to this guy, because you can't even go in the door until you talk to one of them. Otherwise, it's just locked. Walk. At last, the hero has awakened. I heard you wanted to see me. What's up? After reviewing the attack on Alexandria, we discovered some interesting facts. Facts I think you should all know. Walk. The others are waiting in the conference room. We can begin the meeting at any time. All right, let's begin. Please. Follow me. You couldn't have just been down there from the start. Ah! Is that everyone? We are still missing the princess. She's probably upstairs by the telescope. I'll go get her. Wait. Oh, well. Let's begin. Where should I start? Time for an ATE. Self-reproach. Hmm. Alexandria is gone. I still can't believe it. So many people were killed. The survivors are homeless and destitute. How could this have happened? Maybe I shouldn't have listened to Aiko and summoned Alexander. No, it's not her fault. It's my fault. I never should have run away from home. I got everyone involved in this. Zidane, Phoebe, Steiner. Everyone. Had I stayed with Mother, maybe I could have stopped her. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have assumed a throne. I thought I could make amends, but I've only brought misery to everyone. What am I going to do now? It really wasn't her fault. That's as as someone who goes through therapy and has to deal with the stuff like that. It's not her fault. Um, there's no, there's no. It does no good to blame yourself for things that were very clearly outside of your control. Um, if she hadn't acted, Bahamut probably would have destroyed the entire castle, so... Give yourself some credit, Dagger. The town is now in shambles. Many innocent lives were lost. What? I can imagine. Her highness is probably beyond despair. 
I have never witnessed such tragedy. There was nothing we could do. We fought with everything we had, but to no avail. Beatrix and I were prepared to give our lives. I don't know what happened to her. We have spent much time and effort rebuilding Rimby, but I believe it will take much longer for our people to overcome their losses. Those who survived have a long, tough road ahead of them. Hermesia, Clara, Lindlum, and now Alexandria. Kuja has vanquished all four nations. What is he trying to accomplish? Who knows? Let's just go get him. It's not that easy. Kuja's powers are beyond ours. How do you plan to fight him? Hmm. Kuja is a man of many mysteries indeed. I still can't believe what I saw when we were evacuating from Alexandria. What? What did you see? I saw him escape on my stolen airship, the Hildegard One. Walk. There were black mages on board too. They weren't any old black mages. They were talking normally. <gasps> no! No way. Are you sure about this? There's no doubt. Why? Why are they with Kuja? Deep anger. That blast almost destroyed our ship. For a second, I thought I was. <laughs> what am I thinking? What could that old fool do to me? He can't kill me. Nothing can. Besides, he's too late. The wheels are already in motion. So, so here we got some black mages coming down with them. We're going to pan down. I won't let him interfere. What happened? Terrible injuries you have suffered. Shut up. If I can't have Alexander, so be it. I'll find her another Eidolon soon enough. Hey, you. I am Mr. 234. Shut up. I didn't ask for your number. Are the preparations complete? Yes. It's about time. <laughs> Zidane, your role in my play is far from over. I'm going to rest now. Get back to work. So we know what happened to Zorn and Thorn now. So basically, your wife got mad at you and used magic to turn you into an oglop. Sad story, isn't it? My lecherous character has led to my undoing. But how did Kuja get a hold of Lady Hilda's airship? What? Well, that's what I'd like to know. He probably commandeered it to further his mad schemes, whatever they may be. In any case, I must get Hilda and her airship back somehow. Walk. What a shame for a ruler to end up like this. But we can't ignore the situation. Kuja must be stopped. Indeed. We must deal with him before it's too late. It's easier said than done. We don't know where he is. We don't even have an airship to look for him. He's right. Number two is still what? out of commission. And I doubt I can see the... Oh... And I doubt I can oversee the construction of a new airship in my current form. If only I were Walk. a man again. Artenia, is there anything that can be done? I have spoken to Dr. Tot regarding this matter and asked him to join us. He should be here any minute. That's wonderful. I'm certain Dr. Tot will be most helpful. I'm sorry I'm late. 
Please forgive me for calling you on such short notice, Doctor. Thank you very much for giving up your precious time to come here. Please, Minister, you need not be so formal. I heard what happened in Alexandria. I am so relieved to see you all again. Hmm? Where is the princess? Aiko is missing too. <gasps> Are they all right? Don't worry, Doc. They're all right. Aiko's out looking for Dagger right now. Oh, I see. Well, that's a relief. So, Dr. Tot, I was wondering. Hey, guys! Jeez, what's up? Oh, ho, ho. I see you are energetic as ever. It's Dagger. She's... What? What's wrong? I think she's lost her voice. She can't talk anymore. What? What? Just come with me. She's in a guest room. Wait, hold on. I'll be back in a minute. Come on, Doc. I'm coming too. Let's postpone this meeting. I agree, sire. We will resume this meeting later. Zidane, report back to me after you find out more about her condition. Will do. Will do, Regent Sid. Everyone's just gonna come along on the trip. Why not? Do I have Steiner in the party? No, of course not. He just ran off and went ahead. So we're gonna go back to the mid-level, and we are gonna go check on Garnet. Or Dagger, or whatever you even want to call her. I find it strange that after she's left the party and come back, that she still goes by Dagger afterwards. Um, it's kind of interesting how they let you keep her as Dagger instead of going by Garnet. Please wait! <gasps> She's sitting on her bed. Dagger? Hmm. Princess? Princess, what is the matter? This is a bad joke. Doctor, isn't there anything you can do? What tragedy. The princess has indeed lost her voice. After all that she has gone through, the death of her mother, the destruction of her beloved kingdom, she has suffered so much pain. P princess. Dagger. So that's it? There's no hope? I believe this is only temporary. But it may be months, even years before she can speak again. Until she can overcome her grief. So, all we can do is wait. I'm afraid so. This is no ordinary illness. We must keep her heart at peace. That's all I can think of. Hmm. Princess, please forgive me. Aiko, can you look after her for a while? Sure, what are you gonna do? Find Kuja and beat the crap out of him. Doc, I need an airship to find Kuja. Tell me how to turn Sid back into a human. That's the only way. Now, now, calm down. Let's go see the regent. Come on, Rusty, get up. Princess, please say something. You're going to have to babysit him, too. Oh, you'll love to see it. So, what? is there any hope for me? I'm sorry, sire. We must find the person who cast the spell to reverse the effect. Damn it. Actually, there may be another way. Long ago, I read a book on metamorphosis that, is, that discussed methods to reverse the effect. Is this true? Yes, however, I don't know if it is a reliable source. The book had a rather comical tone. 
Is there a chance I could die from it? I doubt it will be lethal, sire. We will simply mix three ingredients and apply the formula to your body. Let's just try it. Walk. That's easy for you to say. What are the three ingredients? Unusual potion, unbeautiful potion, and strange potion. They must be mixed at a five to two to three ratio. Oh, magicians of early times often used those potions. They were all fairly common in the old times. Yes, I expected the ingredients of such a powerful cure to be more exotic too. But as you mentioned, they are no longer popular, so I do not know if we can find them. I think Senna has the unusual potion. I'll take care of this. I'm gonna go downtown and look for the ingredients. I'm counting on you! Walk. Let's hope it goes well. Let's look at my hammer. It's getting hot! Whoa! Damn, I hate heights. Hey, I need a hammer. Let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna have to find one. Just let me borrow yours. What? No way. Nobody uses my hammer but me. Oh, come on. No. No one touches my hammer but me. Fine. But I still need something to drive in these nails. Okay. I'll try to find something. Well, we know where Senna is now. All the way down in the theater district. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. We're gonna go into the guest room again. We're gonna save again. Uh, you can always check on Dagger... And st no, you can't. I thought they were up here. I was gonna be like, you can always check on them, and Steiner's always crying, but I was wrong. Um, we're gonna save. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Jersey playing Final Fantasy IX. Uh, this episode, we rescued Alexandria and then watched it get destroyed. <laughs> um, Dagger and Iko thought they saved it, only to watch a mysterious man named Garland kind of come in and ruin their plans. Um, we're ending things out in Lindblom, where we're hoping that we can find some potion ingredients to turn Sid back into a human. You know, fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with anyone who likes watching buildings turn into giant, uh, protective creatures with wings. <laughs> um, and I will see you next time. Bye.